So I'll be talking about the performance assessment of ESR and immature platelet fraction for Mindry BC 720 series analyzer. So before I start, few disclaimers. This study was co-designed by Mindry and Seigel Path Lab. The aims of the study are performance assessment of ESR and IPF on Mindry BC 720 series Comparison of ESR on Mindray BC720 with Vestagrain method and comparison of IPF on Mindray with IPF on Sysmex series. So as we know that ESR is one of the most commonly advised and useful screening method and the, the traditional method like Vestagrain method, it takes around one hour. So Mindray has come up with new technology in which the high speed cyclic flow uh, RB allows RBCs to disintegrate to a monodispersed state and then there is a procedure by which the rigidity of the, uh, the tubes allow these monodispersed cells to suddenly stop the mono disintegr uh, disintegration and then at constant speed the, all the RBCs will start to re-aggregate and that time is measured at the constant temperature. So in this, uh, for uh, sedimentation of ESR, aggregation speed as well as degree is important. And in this, by photometric method, both degree and speed of aggregation is measured. And it increases the ESR determination by almost 90 seconds it takes to process both CBC and ESR. Material method for the study, the sample type used was leftover EDTA sample whole blood samples, instruments were Mindroy BC720, Westergreen tube, and Sysmex XN. Calibration was done for the Mindroy BC720, daily QC was run for both the instruments, carryover study was performed, precision studies for repeatability of the patient sample and reproducibility of the quality control was done, and comparison studies which would be discussed later. So for carryover study, high target values were taken, which had the ESR of more than 80, and uh, low target value samples with the ESR between 0 to 5 were taken. And then the study, the, they were run in the pair. High target values were run three consecutive times, followed immediately by the low target values. And then the carryover contamination rate was determined using the following formula. And the expected range is supposed to be uh, less than one, as we can see from this, the sample tested were well within the expected criteria of requirement of less than one person. Next, the precision and repeatability of the patient sample was done. The ESR sample were collected of the following range, and which were according to the different ranges of ESR, the different level was done. And then the, the samples of above ranges were tested for 10 consecutive times. And the repeatability test was uh, then done. The mean standard deviation and the coefficient of variation was calculated. As we can see, the acceptance criteria, the acceptance criteria for the ESR of the normal range 0 to 15 was less than 1.3 standard deviation, while for more than 15 was less than 9%. As we can see from this data, the lower level 1 and level 2 the SD is well within the reference, and for the ESR of higher levels, the CV is less than 9%. Uh, similarly, the reputability for the patient sample was done for IPF, in which the level, different levels of low, high, and normal level samples were taken. The acceptance criteria for CV was less than 25%, and this was, in our study, it was well within the range. Then the reproducibility for the quality control sample was also done. In this, the BCQD quality control was tested in ESR mode. And also, this was done three consecutive times. And after an interval of 5 to 12 hours, again the same sample, QC can sample was tested for three times, for, three, for five consecutive days. And as we can see, the CV was between 0 0.90 to 1.43 for ESR and uh, for IPF it was between 3.1 to 6.8 which is a good CVN. So the comparison was, uh, comparative study was done for 332 blood samples 
across the different ranges and clinical conditions on BC 720 and compared with manual Westergren method. And a total of 184 samples were run for comparison of IPF with the seismic machine. So uh, for the comparison, first the passing block analysis for, uh, was done. The total samples of 132 were taken uh, from the reference range of minimum of 1 to the maximum of 135. And for the similar ranges were obtained on BC 700 also. The coefficient correlation was found to be 0 0.94, which is uh, supposed to be good more, as it was more than 0.9 as the recommended criteria. Also, the bland Altman analysis was done to establish the, uh, the arrangement between the Wester Green and the, which is the Grohl standard, and the difference between the uh, Minray and the uh, Wester Green method. As we can see, the mean difference was uh, came to be 2.6. This, this was calculated for the absolute value for the normal samples. We did, it was divided into two parts. One was for the normal ESR in which the absolute values were calculated and next was for the higher ESR values for which the percentage values were calculated. As we can see the mean difference in this was minus 3.56 which is mild under reporting was there in Mindray and the SD was 28.9%. Also, the IPF was comparison was done with passing Bablock analysis in which the min sample collected was a number samples were 184 with minimum ranging for 0.72, maximum 33 reference and the similar reference was also obtained on BC 720. The coefficient of correlation was 0.868 which is within the required criteria meets more than 0.8. Also, the bland Altmill analysis was done for the same and we found that the mean difference was minus 0.78 and OSD was 2.63. The conclusion from the study was the performance assessment criteria for the carryover studies, precision, repeatability and reproducibility are met. ESR showed a good correlation coefficient of 0.94. Blant Altman analysis for the samples within the normal ESR showed minimal deviation, while for the ESR with high value, though mean bias was insignificant, standard deviation of 28.2% was noted. IPF sample showed good coefficient of correlation of 0 0.86. Uh, however, as IPF calculation algorithms on different instruments are different, instrument specific normal range and clinical evaluation is recommended. I would like to acknowledge Mindray team, especially Dr. Kuku for study, who is the principal, who was the principal investigator, Bhavna for sample processing, Dr. Shama and Kirik and Yang for the study coordination and statistic analysis, and from the team Segal, I have Dr. Kunal sir, who is the principal investigator of the study, Dr. Manjusha and myself for sample coordinator, Pratidni Archana and Jyotsna for sample coordination. Thank you. Thank you, if there Vasudha. are any questions. So this one it had 37 degrees was the temperature in the machine. Inbuilt temperature. No, the Western Green we were doing at 18 to the ambient. lab ambient temperature of the lab. Ambient. And the machine is at 37 degrees centigrade. The machine is at 37. Thank you.